Hey guys, thanks for stopping by to see what I'm up to today. Uh, hot off the presses, maybe warm, the FCC has provided specific information to the VECs, the Volunteer Examiner Coordinators, about the $35 fee, specifically when it's going to be implemented, which is April 19th, 22. So let's get right on it. In my last video, I talked about getting your own remote ham testing session, a private session that you can schedule remotely by the web that you can take in your own home, in your library, anywhere you'd like. I mentioned that you need an FRN. An FRN is a FCC registration number, FRN, and it's provided by the FCC through the CORS system, the Commission Registration System ham radio is full of acronyms now in order to update your information as a radio user with the FCC or to apply for a license you're gonna have to get an FRN through the core system now how exactly do we do that oh again open your browser and type in FCC.gov It's going to bring you to this main site for the Federal Communications Commission. Go to Licensing and Databases. There's a menu system across the top, just below the top banner, Licensing and Databases. Go down the first column to CORES, C-O-R-E-S. And again, here we see the C-O-R-E-S in the course of registration system. Um, ham radio is full of acronyms. And there's a banner toward the middle right of the page. Click on Create, Update, and Associate FRNs. And here is the main page. As you can see, I have my username automatically filled in. I guess it's not the most secure, but it is the easiest. Uh, so that I can go in and update my address and other information in this paperless system. If you're new to this, you're gonna go need to go to register. It's the middle banner. And it says, need a username? Register. And you are going to need a username if you're going to apply for a license. So in this day of the internet, we're all familiar with creating a new account. There's gonna be rules about passwords, rules about usernames. So uh, they give you the opportunity to check the availability of the potential username that you're gonna to wanna to use. And this is important because you're gonna need your username and your password during your ham radio career. Before you're allowed to take a test with any VEC, you're going to have to provide your FRN. On this very same page, you can see how much information is public information. And you can use this facility to look up your number at a later date. If I put my first name in and my last name and type in search, There I am. If you're already licensed, you can use this method of searching out your FRN number. More information about the $35 fee, it goes into effect on April 19th, 2022. You cannot prepay your fee. Um, you pay your fee after your application has been accepted and your application file number has been established. The FCC will send you an email. Again, the importance of having your email on file in this paperless system. You can pay via credit card. So that there is some question as to whether you can pay by check, but they prefer the credit card. Again, a paperless system. You have 10 calendar days after 
your application is accepted. Your call sign will be issued immediately. And that's one of the benefits of using the remote uh, testing facility that I mentioned in my previous video. The VEC that I volunteer with usually processes the paperwork immediately. Um, up until this point, people are getting their call signs uh, shortly after they take their test. In this case, um, this application will be accepted supposedly immediately or shortly thereafter your test and you will have your call sign right after you pay the fee. So the long and short of it is the fee starts on April 19th. If you're ready for the test, go out and take it as soon as possible. Uh, use my video to schedule with a VEC online. If you don't want to wait for a conventional session, beat the fee. Uh, for those of you going to test after April 19th, the long and the short of it, it's a $35 fee. It's paid directly to the FCC. None of this goes to the VEC or any of the VEs. Uh, they don't get any part of it. That's an administration fee uh, imposed by the government. Um, it's a non-refundable fee. Um, you have 10 calendar days after you take the test to pay the fee. Uh, your call sign will be issued immediately thereafter. Thanks, thanks for coming out and tolerating my stumbling through this. I hope I was able to provide information. Uh, everyone, thank you so much for uh, subscribing to my channel. A hundred people, I never thought I would make it that far actually. Um, and I appreciate your support. Uh, please like and subscribe. Share this with someone who you think might benefit from this information. And I really do look forward to the next video in which I can share and learn you folks have a good one.